What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And everybody, if you've been following this channel for a while, knows that I moved a few months ago into a new place, which obviously I'm here in my room. And in my new house, I actually don't have very good internet, which at first was causing a lot of issues with delay in games, pretty much where I was trying to PVP, or if I was ever trying to play any of the FPSs, mostly off stream, or in situations like raids where I was actually trying to dodge or vanish mechanics and there would be a little bit of input delay which would mean my vanish wouldn't batch and I would actually get hit by the mechanic and potentially die or anything like that. Now I was having a lot of issues with this until I found exit lag and so today I'm going to go over what this is and how it can help you guys reduce your lag in game, your latency and reduce packet loss because you absolutely need the fastest reaction times and you can't have that delay. Now, this is a program that a lot of pro FPS players are using, but you might have also noticed on a lot of the Race to World First streams, a lot of these players are actually using and promoting exit lag right now in the Race to World First in Castle Nathria, also in Nax, because this program actually works in reducing your ping if you have poor internet, which was a struggle for me for a minute. So here we are on the website really fast, basically to show you what it looks like. And all of the games that are actually useful with this, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, this program will connect you to closer servers to you and I will show you how you can do that. Let's go over to my exit lag and I'm gonna show you guys my settings really quickly. First things first, you want to select your game in the drop down menu. You can just search for it. World of Warcraft is the game that I played the most. And then you want to select your region. Automatic is all right, it applies the ideal route, but the best thing you should do is actually figure out the route for any of the connections that are closest to where you are geographically. So if I go to Los Angeles, you'll see that my ping in game is gonna be 10 MS. And my current ping most of the time is about 90 to 300. And once you're above like 150, you literally can notice it, especially in games like this or in shooters. Now, once you've set that up, you want to go to one UDP route, so two TCP, one UDP, and then go into the tool settings. It's just going to be very easy here where you make sure that you don't have any limit on your traffic shaper, and then your FPS boost, you can pretty much just copy these settings right here. The general settings should be good for you, but sometimes you'll have issues with Windows Defender opening and, and closing some games while you're running exit lag, so if so, just click this one to disable Windows Defender. Other than that, you should have an extremely, extremely fast connection. So 10 MS ping instead of 300. Now, once you have those settings set up, that's all you need to do and you can click apply route and you will get your connection through exit lag. This thing will be a little bit confusing where it says no connection through exit lag, but this is actually the perfect screen you want to see. And now you can launch your game and get right into it.
Now, of course, I do want you guys to be able to get the most out of this program, and it does cost money to use. You do get a three-day trial for free, so you can test it out yourselves. But if you do want to use this program and reduce your latency and reduce your issues there, then you can click the link in the description or just go to the website and use the promo code SARTH. It will give you 20% off, and this is massive, I think, for you guys. It also helps support the channel, but I think it is extremely useful if you are going for either raiding and you're climbing up the ranks, especially when TBC comes out, we're absolutely not going to want to have a lot of lag or a lot of MS delay. And then also if you're playing any other games, it is very, very helpful. So make sure to check that link out in the description. And with that said, happy new years to everybody. I hope you guys all had an incredible new year. Also just the holidays in general and with the New Year's is coming a lot of new things for the channel, so make sure to stay in tune or stay in touch for that. Other than that, everyone, good luck out there. Have a good one, and I'll see you all on the next one.